Hello, good morning, everyone. Okay, today we are having our Zoom demo on a Saturday now. And our topic is picnic date. So who doesn't love picnics, right? So uh, we have four of us, uh, four of my colleagues today who will be cooking for you. Uh, Sweet Sun with honey, barbecue chicken sliders. Moira will be um, sharing her tips on baking, how to make it fluffy and also making a lemon poppy seed cake. Uh, Aishwarya with a healthy chocolate mousse and Ayn with coconut shake. So all of these will be such a dream to have on your picnic. Lah. Let it by the beach or even a playground over the mountains. A picnic always creates so much of memories, right? So um, before I go ahead with our topic today, let me roughly go through with you about um, Thermomix itself. Okay, so before we go ahead with Thermomix, I would like to share with you about my branch. Um, we are UNO. Okay, so UNO has more than 250 active advisors. We have a Telegram recipe library also for all our advisors specifically. So in our library, you have um, all the manual recipes. It's updated once, um, almost all the time with the current uh, new trends of recipe or whatever that is tried by the customers and advisors themselves, but also approved and legit. Lah. So it is ad uh, added into the library for you, our customers, to enjoy it. So other than Telegram recipe library, we also have WhatsApp group. So let's say you want to cook something today, chicken, uh, Chinese style, you are not sure what to make. You can go ahead and ask in our WhatsApp group. And let's say you have queries, uh, why, why is my uh, butter not melting? Or what is the best temperature to cook santan? Of course, we have our cheat sheet, but you know, at a rush, sometimes you want to have um, quick feedbacks, so you can use our WhatsApp group. So, and weekly, we have Zoom cooking shows like today. So, our, our, our team today is Picnic, and we have all kinds of different themes every week, and now it's on Saturday. So, you join, you will get some tips, you will get some inspirations, ask your friends to join and collect your host gifts, okay? So other than that, we also have monthly HQ demos. So if you feel your friend or your family needs to have their hands on, or you yourself, you want to uh, uh, spark some uh, extra knowledge, you can always pop by the HQ. Uh, uh, we will share the dates and have a feel about it. So come and join our supportive and matchbook team. Yes, we have all integrated Malaysians in our team from Malay to Chinese to Sabahan to Indians. You have everyone who we will share our tips on and off. You want masakan terengganu, you want Johor Laksa, just ask in the group, okay? So what was your life before Thermomix? What was my life before Thermomix? I was a working mom, cooking and after I had kids, cooking was not even an option because we used to order food. And then when you don't know how to cook, especially during MCO, imagine how much your recipes, one recipe pop up, you enter the kitchen and try, but imagine how much of utensils. You need YouTube, you need cookbook. So when you do not know how to cook, you will end up ordering. So and next thing is lots of appliances. So the number of appliances Thermomix replaces is 25 and more. This is the few which we use regularly, which is the blender, steamer, rice cooker, cake mixer. These are already four that you have to take it and out of your cupboard, which takes up space. So now you only need Thermomix. Apart from that, when you take out one, all, you need to wash, so tons of things to wash. And then take away food, sorry. Take away food and when you want to cook for your infants, when they are ill, you will always think twice, like, should I order? You need to take care of your kids. You need to also feed them. So this makes it all easier, hassle-free, okay? So what was your life before the moment? <clears throat> so now after having the mix, or even without Thermomix, one's passion can always be about family happily eating together. If you realize, right, any celebration, let it be uh, birthdays or after post-MCO or Raya, what you want is to enjoy food together with a family. So Thermomix makes it easier cooking. 
and also healthier for everyone to share. So um, going back dated about Tamavix, it has been around since 1883, hey, sorry, 1961, but Warwick took over since 1883. So initially they started as blender, a food blender. So of course at that time, their innovation was to make life easier at that time. At that time, having a simple machine as simple as blender is already a big savior, right? How to mash food, how to chop food. You probably wouldn't have chopped lah, because blender is mostly mashed. Um, it's a bit harder to get the consistency of chopping. So as time progressed, thermomix um, became more evolved. You will see TM31, TM5, and then TM6. And now we are at TM6, okay? So what's the best about TM6 is it's Wi-Fi connected. You can access all your cookie dough. You can have high temperature cooking, which my teammates will be sharing more about. And you will enjoy cooking, the whole experience of cooking. Lah, okay, you can have from Northern Indian food to Southern Indian food, from Chinese food to Malay rendang for your babies having... Um, baby food to ice cream, it's all in one, okay? For what? For nine ringgit a day, okay? Nine ringgit a day costing 6,998. So, is Thermomix famous? Is Thermomix more used now? It's sold 20, one unit is sold every 23 seconds. That is like how many in a minute, right? Okay, even this week itself in Malaysia, um, our sale has been booming because we are expecting a new price. How much? We do not know. So why not just grab it at the current price? You are going to love it. Come join our team. We will inspire you. Okay? So what do you get when you buy your Thermomix? So you get this whole set. You get a spatula. If you see, the spatula is designed in a way that when you place it, it will not touch the bottom. The handle will not touch the bottom. There's a butterfly whisk, which almost imitates your cake whisk to beat your uh, egg whites, to make it fluffy, to beat your butter. To uh, A butterfly whisk also uh, applies when you put a soft fish, you don't want it to touch your blade, you will turn and cook it without breaking it. And our biggest lover is the mixing knife. It's super strong. But it's also mostly because our TM6 model, which is fun, super powerful and frictionless. So what is powerful and frictionless? It does not emit heat, okay? You try making ice cream. You try um, making a but uh, not butter. You try making, yeah, um, you try making anything in your normal regular blender it will melt, it will become smoothie. But why is it with Thermomix, you can even make ice cream because it is frictionless. It doesn't emit heat. So you have creamy, uh, uh, creamy ice cream. You have beautiful custard. You try making kaya. It will be so chanting. Custard for your cream puff. Mm. Instead of sitting by the stove and stirring, 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 just leave the mom to do the work, okay? So the whole um, uh, set of uh, the mom comes along with your Varoma, which is 3.3 liter. It has two tiers, so you can always uh, cook in the middle tier or choose to load up your vegetable in the lower one. You have Splash Guard, which is used when you want to uh, uh, fry, to prevent uh, oil to, to splatter everywhere. You have measuring cup. In the measuring cup, it's noted the lines to measure. So if you do not have a measuring cup, always go back to your uh, measuring, uh, measuring cup. Don't forget, measuring cup also acts as a dough cutter. Okay, as you join the team, as you attend this kind of um, Zoom demos, or when you join our WhatsApp group, they will constantly share with you tips tips and tricks. So like the measuring cup, it will act also as a cookie cutter. So you want to cut your cookie round, just use this, okay? 
you have a simmering basket which works as a sieve when you make lemonade or which acts as a, a steamer as well. So if you want to cook rice, it will act as a steamer because the water will be down. Or you can steam your egg, you can steam your chicken. So the, uh, uh, the simmering basket also acts that way and a mixing bowl. The mixing bowl weighs, I mean, can fit up to 2.2 liter. So one kilo of chicken is one kilo of chicken. This one you can like two kilo of chicken. So you can put a whole chicken, if it's uh, below two, two, two kilos lah, to make your chicken, uh, nasi ayam, chicken rice and all. And of course the high quality German motor, which is the heart of our thermal mix, okay? So like I told you, it replaces tons of other gadgets. Why use something that you take out from the cupboard once a while? Why not choose Thermomix? It replaces everything, almost everything, including your pot, which is not included here, including your soup bowl or your soup pot. It all uses one Thermomix. Imagine you have to use a stand-up mixer, you're going to make cake twice or three times a month. You take out from the cupboard, use it you have to wash all the battery and then you have to put it in back imagine you have to use a steamer you want to steam fish thai steam fish you have to add water below because i have a steamer before i got thermomix i'm like i don't need thermomix so i actually splurge on a juicer on a fruit juicer on a steamer we have a rice cooker we have a baby food processor can you imagine how much of space it takes up in my kitchen my kitchen is very small and now it is all rotting in the cupboard Yes, I should be selling it off soon, but I use my Thermomix every day from a rice cooker. You don't even have to buy physical books because cookie dough is connected to it. Can you imagine? So cookie dough, when you talk about cookie dough, it's a whole different food bag which is accessible worldwide for tons of recipes. You, you start using your Thermomix and you explore day by day you will not want to have any more fried food. So a lot of people will say fried food. Come on, I love fried food. I, I am goreng, ikan goreng. Okay lah, you love fried food, but you also know the health risks of when you eat fried food. Of course, once in a while. But when you start using Thermomix and you explore the tons of good food without having tons of oil, without having tons of butter or sugar or salt, but your food becomes so tasty. Probably it's also because the mixing bowl is confined, so the nutrients and the flavor, it, it all absorbs into your food, you know? So food becomes tasty. You will always explore new dishes. You want to have chicken rendang one day, Thai ketchup one day. You want to have Vietnamese lemongrass chicken one day. You want to have... Um, uh, all the kind of chicken dishes lah. I already said three so it's like in a week you have three chicken dishes which is different it's like having kedai kat rumah tapi tak payah pergi kedai dan murah lagi dan sedap uh, it's all that okay so without using your, your, your stove without topping up your gas without worrying about oil splatter all over your kitchen counter so why not choose Thermomix and why not choose it now when the price is cheaper, okay? Okay, Thermomix is all you need. Like I told you, if you worry, you will not use your Thermomix. I takut lah kumu tak guna. What if I don't use? It's so expensive. Exactly, why not give yourself a chance? Look at the amount of things our teammates have made. Look at the possibilities. And the joy when you start making, you feel so excited to go home. Okay, today I nak makan mi goreng. Mi goreng mama, you don't have to worry. Within 15-20 minutes from chopping your onions to putting your mi inside, it's so simple but so sedap. It's like you have tons of things to explore from breakfast to dinner. Breakfast, you can have yogurt. Yes, you can make yogurt with tomatoes. You can put fermentation mode, which helps with fermentation to make yogurt. You can make, this is what I make for my kids now. I'm that mom. I'm that mom who makes bread for my kids. I'm that mom who makes yogurts for my kids. Apart from that, you can make for adults. Anyone coming to your house anytime, make some bread. Make some stir-fried garlic prawns. Chicken porridge when someone is sick, also with Thermomix. The pong palita or any kueh, also with Thermomix. So... You have so much of possibilities from breakfast to dinner, right? So why not choose to mix? Okay, so why we say buy now? Now is the best, best time. 
worldwide due to microchip issues, due to steel issues, um, there has been price increase. UK has already increased the price in June, in July, Indonesia, um, Germany, Australia. So, of course, with the current economy, there is a predicted price hike. So with Malaysia, there is currently the stock that is already in Malaysia is being sold at this price, 6,988. The new stock that is incoming from Germany is going to be the new price. How much is the new price? It is predicted to be about another thousand ringgit. Okay, we cannot guarantee how much. Don't forget also because of our conversion rate, Malaysian ringgit is not at the best time. Okay, so with the conversion rate, we already lose. And then with the issue of microchip, steel and stock issues, there is so much taking into account. So why not get your Thermomix now? Not just this, every other electrical appliances price is going to go up. And don't forget the service, the warranty, the, the usage of all those motors. So of course, if you want to get a very good rice cooker, you're going to go up, it could go up up to 1,500 ringgit. Why not choose Thermomix? You don't even have to service. If any issues at all, we have a HQ in Malaysia. Go back to your advisors. We will guide you. We will help you. And thus far, I'm using my Thermomix every day and not just me, me and my husband. And let's hope my kids in the future too because cooking really gets fun. So why not choose Thermomix now? So when you get your Thermomix now, as a host gift, um, you get a thermo server, which is up to 2.2 liters. Can you imagine two kilo of chicken fitting into one and keeping it warm? That's two kilo of chicken, okay? So it's worth 360 ringgit. It's a host gift. What's a host gift? Um, when you invite your friends or when you share your friends about Thermomix um, and, and um, spread the joy, um, it will be released to you by your advisor, okay? And then we have uh, the black thermos server, which is a hot item among advisors ourselves. Um, it's also 2.2 liter, but it's in uh, black, uh, sorry, it's 2.6 liter. It's almost three kilo of chicken, okay? Imagine how much of rice you can store and keep it warm. Even if you want to eat it later, three hours later, it's going to be warm. It's not going to be hot, fuming hot, okay? It's going to be warm and just nice for you to eat. Even pasta. Pasta, a lot of times you're worried uh, how, how to keep it warm. You just store in your thermos server. That's what I do for my husband. When he comes back after he's on calls, it's still warm and nice. So you will get another black thermos server when you pay full uh, cash. That means online transaction. If you choose to pay uh, full but with your debit card, you will get a uh, 2.2, another thermo server, lah, which is worth 360. Can you imagine the black one is worth 600. When you pay full, I mean, you pay full 6988, but you get one thermo server, which is the white one. Then you get a black thermo server, which is the black one, which is limited some more. Memang best. Lah. So, when is the price increase um, thought to rise? Initially, it was 100 days. Within one week, it became 90 days. Currently, we are assuming price to hike by 31st August. That is this month, guys. We are already in August. That's this month. Grab your thermomix, okay? All right. Wait up. Why is it not moving? So when I was telling to you earlier about HQ demo, <coughs> HQ demo is when you get to hands on on your thermomix. I mean, on a thermomix. Or if you're already a user yourself, you're like, ayo, tak kena lah, masa apa pun, I'm not so confident. Come, join us in our HQ demo. You want to have a different motivation, join us in our HQ demo. You want to have a feel before you get the, the old price thermomix. We have one on, uh, on Saturday, 13 August. Come over, have a look, have a feel. It is next week. You can um, also explore how we cook with it. We make lemonade, stir fried veggie. We make ice cream for your kids too. So if you want to bring your kids along, go ahead, bring them along and just have fun and feel our joy, okay? Hopefully you will have fun with your Thermomix too. Okay, so I'm now currently um, going to pass over to my colleague, Suisan, to start her day with 
her sliders. Okay, are you ready, Suisan? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. All right, over to you. Okay, hi, hello everyone. My name is Suisan. Um, I go by the handle of um, Sui Cooks on Instagram. So um, I used to be a baker. Uh, I used to make a lot of cake <coughs> for orders and, and also I use the mixer a lot. So how I came about <coughs> using the Thermomix is uh, because I'm going to move house and I needed uh, to scale down a lot. So I decided to purchase the Thermomix instead of buying so many other equipments that could cost just as much or if not even more than having a Thermomix. So after I bought it, I've been using it for maybe more than a year. Um, I got it last year somewhere mid MCO or something. So one thing that really impressed me a lot is um, the dough kneading. Um, so a lot of times when people buy uh, equipment or appliance, you, you don't really know how to fully utilize it. But because of our WhatsApp group, our chat support, everything, right? So we have, um, you feel more confident in trying new recipes. Um, and especially for people who don't know how to bake, I would call it now the movies can make everyone know how to bake. Like you can bake uh, anything that you can think of. Like um, for instance, like bread, mantau, focaccia, banana bread. For people who don't know, it's very intimidating because you are not sure whether your dough is needed enough or your cake or batter is mixed well enough or you're not sure whether you're going to over bake it i mean over mix it so a lot of times it's a second guessing work for people who don't know how to bake for me i know how to bake i can uh, understand but um for people who don't know especially if you are a first-time mom or you know you want to bake something for your kids you want to bake uh, something for your husband's birthday you know that sort of thing it's, it's a nice gesture to know um, how to do certain things. So with, um, with the Thermomix, uh, because it has a temperature setting, uh, so it has a 37 degrees. When you're making bread, you want your yeast to be activated. So 37 degrees Celsius is the best uh, temperature to activate yeast. Um, and also not just uh, mantel or bread. You can make cute buns like this. Yeah, you can also make like fish ball. Uh, with your chicken ball, meatball, um, we all know how, how much preservatives or how much flour to use in um, if you buy those store bought. And if you're making something healthy for your family to consume, you want it to be um, the best ingredient possible. So you can also make like noodles, like banh mi, uh, pasta dough. You can also knead all those. And if you watch on YouTube or if you watch on Netflix or all, right, when chefs try to make pasta dough, you always have to use the hand to knead and it's always very messy. So imagine if you have a kid around that you have to entertain all the time and you're making pasta the half way and then suddenly mommy mommy. Then what you're gonna do, right? So everything you just put in the machine, if you need to stop halfway, you can stop halfway without any uh, thing that you need to clean. So um and also one thing that is um really impressive is when I was using a, a mixer to knead my bread dough. I would need like 10 or 12 minutes or up to 15 minutes. But using the thermomix cuts down half the time. Um, something as simple as mantel only take two minutes to knead. And for bread dough, like bigger bread dough, it takes only like five minutes um, to knead. So it's really, really fast. And if you're making a lot of bread or selling or, you know, for a party, then it will really save um, your time. So, Next thing is, um, so <clears throat> apart from using it as a, a blender, a steamer, a, a rice cooker and everything, right? what comes with is also called cookie dough. Cookie dough is a guided um, recipe that you can find online. Um, it actually comes in the website, so you can browse it through your phone, your iPad, your computer. You can look for it when you're uh, at lunch, at work, or what to cook, uh, you just need to search for, let's say you're thinking of um, having Thai food, you just need to search for Thai, and then all the recipes that are related to Thai, Thailand, Thailand dishes, it will come out like Tom Yum, uh, 
Thai steamed fish, uh, all sorts of recipes. But if tonight you're feeling that, oh, I feel like having burger, so you just look for burger, and all the burger recipes will come out, and you can just pick it very easily. So apart from choosing recipes like that, right, you don't need to buy books, you don't need to um, uh, search on the internet and then think, hey, is this going to work or not? Like, I'm not sure, la, la, let me try first, la, you know? So you get to, like, you get, um, you second guess yourself a lot of time. So we could be do, right? Um, it's all tested and there's also ratings where you can see. Uh, so the higher ratings are better ones, la, so you just search for the ones higher ratings and not only that it will generate a shopping list for you uh, and also you can plan your meals so <clears throat> if you are very busy at work you only have saturday sundays to plan for a meal uh, you can take saturday or sunday and you can just search for the food items that you want to cook for the entire week and then you can save them on monday i want to cook this tuesday i want to cook this wednesday i want to cook this so you you can generate the shopping list out from there and just do your shopping, grocery shopping once a week. And then when you come back, you have all the ingredients in the fridge. Even if, let's say you are, you have to work OT, you don't have time to cook, but maybe your husband is at home, you can just turn on the thermomix, go to that particular day and just start the recipe and he will be able to cook because it's step by step. Um, I would say anybody that knows how to read will know how to cook because you just need to follow step by step. So um, for today's recipe, um, how I came about is um, because for picnics, um, in Malaysia it's very hard to do picnic because it's very hot and very humid. So uh, when I was studying in Australia, we used to do a lot of barbecue picnic style. So, um, so I came about um, searching for barbecue in, uh, on Tukidu and then I came about this um, uh, honey shiracha turkey sliders, uh, which I will show you. Um, so once I found the recipe, I saved it on my phone, and then I come to my uh, Tomo Mix here, and I go to, I save it um, on bookmark. So all my recipes that I saved are right here. So I Click on the item that I want to cook. So it's honey shiracha turkey sliders, but um, I don't like shiracha. I don't think I can find turkey beans here. So I change it to honey barbecue chicken sliders. Yeah, so uh, it's very easy. Uh, I'm just going to start uh, now. So once you are you open up your um, recipe, you can also scroll down and see what are the ingredients you need. Uh, the prep time, the total time, and the serving size. So if you want to uh, cut it in half, or you want to double up, then you can. It will also show you uh, nutritional value. Like let's say if you're counting your calories, if you're uh, trying to stay in your diet, you can look for the calories that's written here per piece, and then the amount of protein, carbs, and fat is also written there. So imagine if you're meal planning, if you are trying to cut down on fat or carbs, you can certainly refer to these. Uh, it will also show you the hints and uh, tricks of how you can make a different variation out from it. So it's basically like a cookbook, but um, digital version. So let's start. Yeah. So even if the recipe calls for because uh, we use metric system, uh, but if it's imperial system recipe, right, it will just automatically, it, it will be in imperial, but when you weigh, um, it will also weigh as imperial. So you don't have to worry, you have to manually uh, convert the recipes because it will also show you, uh, there's a built in scale that it will show you how much to put in. So it asks for honey. I'm going to put in. And um, you know, you can always uh, adjust the recipe for your own liking. Let's say six ounces of honey is way too much for me, so I'm just going to use two and a half ounces. Okay, and then next, you will 
be three ounces of shiracha sauce, but I'm using um, barbecue sauce. So I'm just going to add it in. So normally, when I'm cooking, I don't weigh out all these ingredients because um, I don't want to wash so many things. What I do is I just go to the fridge and pick up whatever I need and then just put it inside. <clears throat> but because of demo purposes, um, I just pre-weigh it so that it's a little faster to show you guys. Uh, so once you have added in and you got the right amount of weight, just press next and just add whatever that it calls for. So as long as you know how to read, you know how to operate this machine now. If you know how to operate a smartphone, right, you will definitely know how to operate the way. So you don't have to worry that it's too difficult to use or anything. So we ask to insert the mixing bowl lid and turn the speed selector to speed seven. So when you're using cookie do recipes, it's guided. Uh, it will tell you to uh, speed, I mean, the amount of time is five seconds only. Um, all these are preset for you. So what you need to do is just turn the knob to whatever speed that it calls for. So once it's done, um, it will tell you it's done. So just press next for the next step. So what it did was um, it chopped up the garlic and blend in the barbecue and the honey sauce. So I'm just gonna pour it out. So I didn't chop the garlic, I just uh, peeled it using the thermomix. So what I did was uh, usually once a week, I will do my some glass, my prep. So I will peel some, I mean, um, I'll peel garlic, Shallots, onion, um, using the thermomix, right? Because it only takes a few seconds. And then I will put them in the fridge. Then throughout the week, when I want to cook, I just open the fridge and then I already have peeled garlic. So I don't buy like peeled garlic um, from the supermarket because we don't know whether they're clean or not. So this is the sauce. Okay, so next. It says to add in yellow onions. So my onions are here. Three ounces. Next, garlic cloves. So garlic cloves on it in. Um, parsley leaves. I don't have parsley leaf, I don't like parsley, so I'm going to use oregano leaves. So even though the recipe is stated um, turkey means or any sort of meat, you can adjust it to your own liking. You can even use beef, you can even use chicken or you can use lamb. So it's all up to you. Even though it's guided, right? You don't have to be like so, um, so like, must do it this way. You can always play around with it and make different variations. Um, pine leaves. So fresh herbs are very important for uh, burger meats. But if you don't have, it's fine as well. You can use dried herbs. So this is basically like a um, burger. They call it slider because sliders are slightly smaller than the burger. Burger is bigger. So you can make this into a burger, make this into a slider. You can also make this into meatballs and just fry up the meatballs as it is. So the, the possibilities are really endless. Like, however, you can take off and um, make it so that's salt. Salt and then just next. So what I'm doing is really just pressing next and putting in what you ask me to do. Uh, red pepper flakes. I'm not making it spicy, so I'm omitting this. So I just press next and some black pepper. Okay. 
Um, yeah. So just pop this in. So another five seconds just to chop up all the ingredients. So imagining you are doing this manually, you need to use the knife and chop, 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 chop your um, onion, which will make you cry, <laughs> or you should make it tear. But of course, inside here, you know, your eyes are clean, your, your makeup is still pretty if you want to wear makeup. But um, yeah, only five seconds and it will chop up everything nicely. So I'll just scrape it down. So you don't have to worry about uh, crying <laughs> when you're cutting onions. Definitely, this is much better than doing it manually. <laughs> Okay, so it asks for brown turkey, but I'm using um, chicken. You can also make your own minced chicken. If you are really, really watching your diet, you just want to use chicken breast, then you can also make your own minced chicken, which is very easy. But I'm not watching my diet, so I'm just using minced chicken. more chicken than I need, but it's okay. Panko. Panko is uh, breadcrumbs. Um, if you don't have breadcrumbs at home, you can use white bread or wholemeal bread and toast it until it's a little bit more dry and you can just blend it in the thermomix to get breadcrumbs. But uh, I have breadcrumbs, so I'm using it. But if you don't have, you can make it at home as well. So you don't have to worry about Oh, I don't have this ingredient. I have to go out and buy. Like a lot of times, you can actually just make it at home, like icing sugar. If you have custard sugar, you can convert into icing sugar very, very, very easily. Just a couple of seconds. Um, same goes with pan or breadcrumbs. Uh, an egg. Okay, so normally if I'm going to make burgers at home, um, I will use my hand to mix everything together, but um, sometimes I need to mix it just to make sure everything is well blended. But this only takes uh, so 10 seconds, everything is mixed in. I'll show you. So it's already mixed in like that. So if you can, you want to add more herbs, or if you want to add more things uh, like flavoring, right? You can also do so. So it will tell you what to do next. Um, so it says shape into 12 equal balls, which is approximately two ounces each. So what I'm going to do is I will shape it. Uh, and before I shape it, right, it also said press one cube of cheese into each meatball and be shaped into patties. So what it actually means is, um, I will just stick it out. So I need to weigh it, right? I can just use this as a weighing scale. Uh, call out my scale. Um, so two ounces is probably about 60 grams. So you don't have to get an extra scale or anything. Basically, the thermomix is very smart by itself. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it. So this is about two ounces. So since it's already mixed in well, like what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape it into a ball. And I'll put cheese inside like that yeah so you can have like burger with uh, melted cheese inside or meatballs with uh, melted cheese inside so i'm going to do this for the rest of the means uh, chicken and i'm going to pass back to kumo and i'll show you what i do with it after that 
so who move? From here. Okay, so I just wanted to share while she's talking about it. As you can see, um, how can you be a thermomics advisor? Okay, she's cooking, uh, she's planning. So um, apart from joining as um, a customer yourself, you can always choose uh, to join us as an advisor, turn your passion for good food into wonderful business. Okay, how this works, you can always ask us or um, you can message me or your advisor themselves. Okay, how to be an advisor? is when you join us via these programs, which is the Light Advisor Kit or the Premium Advisor Kit. It is um, uh, it's a, a requirement to be an advisor. So you have to pay 280 ringgit or the 480. Why? That is like a subscription fee. Lah. But you get all these good goodies along with it. You get a folder, you get um, the apron, you get the thermomix, which is the favorite part about cooking with thermomix, you will end up baking. Okay, once you make soft sweet bun, like uh, Sweet Sun here, she always makes amazing buns and, uh, and, and uh, pastries. So for that, you will probably need a, a mat. So why not get a thermomix by joining in as advisor? So you will love your thermomix. And if you want to change it to a side business or earn some extra income, this is one of the ways to join. The premium kit, the only difference is the trolley bag. So the trolley bag, as you know, the cost itself is 450 ringgit. But when you join as an advisor, you get all this and even the goodies for 480. Kenapa tak nak Right now. So uh, anyone here having any questions, how to join as an advisor or how to become a Thermomix uh, at a customer with the current price, just uh, send a message here. We will get back to you or you can always um, uh, go back to your advisors also. Okay. So any questions so far? I can't see. Okay, so as you can see, Sui San here today made um, chicken sliders, which was a which was a recipe which she converted from something from cookie dough. So a lot of people also ask you, um, do I have to follow? Uh, if I don't have this, how? I mean, the Thermomix is not going to bark at you. It's not going to shout at you, hey, I don't have enough. Okay, so when you use, when you follow the mummy for the first five, six recipes, you're comfortable with it, you will be able to edit and switch out. Okay, if you don't want chicken, you add, you add mutton. Okay, mutton, you have to remember, you have to add the time. So if you don't want chicken, you want to omit or you want to reduce the portion, go along. Like this one was turkey to chicken. So um, a lot of people will say, do I really have to follow? No. You can be your own chef. You are your own boss. In our team, tons of people make their own recipes from Indian uh, Rama Dose to Rendang. Uh, we, we have what, so much of Rendang. Like, I only know one kind of Rendang before this. Only after owning a Thermomix, I know there is Rendang Tok. Lah. I don't know. Lah. There is Rendang Hitam. Lah. Okay. I mean, it's fun, right? When you learn about new food, you enjoy new food, you expose your kids and your family to amazing food. What do you lose? You don't have to pay extra for it. With whatever you have in the kitchen, you get to make it. Okay? So, cookie dough is, is a world bank, okay, that you can access and have so much of fun. Remember, cookie dough also comes in different language. So, if you want to access to German food, you know, access to... Uh, uh, Chinese food, how to cook pork, how it all comes out in Chinese. So how do you convert it? Yes, you can convert and we will also guide you. In our WhatsApp team, as advisors, we will guide you how to uh, convert the recipes, I mean, translate the recipes and to use it. So even chicken nuggets, you can also make with Thermomix. Okay, when you make chicken nuggets for your kids, you can add like, all the carrot, all the green veggie, but end up you can bake it or you choose to fry it and they will enjoy the nugget. So who tak nak kan? So when you buy your Thermomix, okay, I kind of cannot see. When you buy your Thermomix, it comes along with the whole set, like I told you. So when you when you can steam, you can also cook along, which is multi-layer cooking. Um, another teammates will be sharing along. Lah. 
Okay. Um, Susan almost done. Yeah. All yeah, right. For you, um, <coughs> the next few steps. Sorry. Yeah, I will show you the next yeah, uh, few go steps ahead. on how to cook the burger patty. So, um, before this, it says to weigh out uh, and divide the beef patties and um, wrap the cheese, right? So, then um, I went next and it says place on Varoma. So, this is the Varoma um, tray and dish. So, what it does is it steams the burger patty instead of um, having to pan fry it. Um, so if you want a healthier version, steaming is definitely the way to go because steaming um, still preserves the nutrient and you don't have to worry about oil spattering everywhere on your stove. So it says to place um, the aroma dish on top. So we're going to go next. <clears throat> so I've already um, shaped up some and it says to place some of the uh, sauce that I mixed up earlier. So I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on top. Like that. So if you want like shiracha sauce, you can definitely make with that. But because I don't want to make it spicy, everybody's suffering from control at home. So steaming is um, way healthier uh, compared to central it. And as you can see, um, you don't need to use oil to cook as well um, because we all know uh, oil is expensive now. So I'm just going to put this on top and I'm going to cover it. And then, <clears throat> um, so cookie dough will already set the time to 20 minutes, firm temperature, and then um, start. So once the water comes to a boil, it will boil, I mean, it will steam the chicken patties. And then after that, I will assemble it and show you guys. So right now, we will go to our next chef, Moira, for her next dish. <laughs> okay, so we'll pass over to Moira. Okay. All right, Mora, go ahead. Okay. Uh, can everybody see and hear? Yes, we are good. You can go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, since the main course just now, Suisan already made, so I'm making some dessert. So uh, a very simple dessert, uh, which is a lemon poppy seed cake. Uh, basically, this is like a very um, a repeat recipe for me because um, we kind of like like cakes at any time. And uh, I would say that if it's like uh, for picnic, it would be the best thing for you to bring because it's very easy. And then um, you just go and eat it and then you can just go do whatever you want to do. So uh, first of all, the I mean, my experience of picnic, I mean, I don't really have much because my work uh, in the work of me, I mean, my nature of work is like, I'm an engineer. I go back uh, doing projects and all that. By the time we can, sometimes I have to go back to the project site to monitor my project. So the only time that I can have a mini picnic is that at the playground. So I um we, I brought my daughter to the playground and uh, for her to play. So the only thing that I that's easy for me to bring is actually uh, a cake. So she kind of like need that kind of sugar for her to to run around and then uh. When she's hungry, she just has a bite and then can go back and, and play. Lah. So uh, as for the others, as uh, I think last time, I think the best, one of the other best food is that first is the sandwich just now, the sliders. And then uh, the easiest, sim simplest thing is uh, like um, egg sandwich or tuna sandwich, which you can prepare early. And the egg sandwich, you just have to boil it and mash it using the thermomix. So it's not really that hard. Okay. So uh, coming back to the recipe, why uh, I'm, I'm, I will actually bake the cake using Thermomix. Previously, uh, I bake and I sell cakes too. And I have a mixer which is very big and I'll show you how big is it in the bowl. And then I will need to have a, uh, this uh, uh, 
kepala lupa pula. Disease. Squeeze, squeeze. No, no, no. Disease, disease. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah pedal, pedal. Pedal, pedal. All right. So I uh, have this. So these three items will be like first. If you want to to beat your eggs, you have to use this. And then lepas you beat the eggs, then you have to change to this. And then after that, you have to wash everything. So what happened is that last time I was so lazy. I used this for everything and causes the the waste to roll up. So with the moment, basically you just need this. This little tiny thing like butterfly and you can just use it for all. So uh, first first of all, uh, I think we, we start with the baking. Uh, I have around 215 gram of sugar, but I add a bit of salt in here. So, okay, the thermomix. Ini kerja banyak untuk basuh. So, selalunya, like Sri Sun said, you just pour it in. You just take from the jar and put it in so you don't really need to do too much. Okay, uh, I mean to wash. Second, uh, okay, this one is all manual. There's no recipe. I mean, there are recipes in uh, cookie dough, but I'm using it my, uh, my own manual recipe. So, what I would do is that I would blend it, blend the sugar for, uh, for 20 seconds. Okay, at speed 10. It's not that long. Okay, okay. 10 seconds. 10 seconds should be fine, or 5 seconds. You just let it open and see. It's uh, very smoky right now, so it's, all, it's already ready. So next is that I will put my softened butter. So to, to have the butter to be mixed with the sugar, quicker you let it at a room temperature and add it in okay like i said earlier jangan buang this thing you can save it because you can actually line your your pan if you don't have any uh non-stick pan so you use the uh, this butter wrapping to, to actually line your your cake i mean line the the pan okay and then oh the air is very sweet okay i added i put on my my whisk the air is very sweet. Wow. <laughs> because I, I actually blend the sugar. So. <laughs> okay. And then next, uh, from here, once I put the, the butterfly waste, basically you can't go any faster than speed four. So I will do it around two minutes. Okay. While explaining to you on some things. So uh, it will be at speed four. And we let the butter and the sugar to be mixed well in the economics, okay? So once in a while, you still need to stir it up. Where? In love, love. Stop for a while. This is normal. Bila you buat, buat cake, you still need to mix it. So, uh, just rajin-rajin sikit, open it, put, uh, pull the sugar down sikit, just to have it mixed, and then, Okay, and continue. Okay, for next for it, the next okay, while it's mixing just for a while, I will actually bring you through to, to how uh, baking is uh, easy and how the thermomix is actually helping out uh, in the daily life of I mean, my life and as well as others. So for baking, senang sangat. Sebab uh, you tak perlu nak pakai banyak uh, ibat, I mean banyak equipment. Like the measuring scale, I don't have to use because I already use it here. And then like just now, I already pre-measured everything. So it's, uh, it's faster to, to use, but otherwise you can use it manually. Secondly, um, I can actually have it mixed. So I'm mixing the butter and the sugar first. because uh, Usually you can go it, uh, you can do it uh, by using a normal sugar. I don't uh, have it as a powdered sugar, but since I want it to be Pull it, uh, how to say, white and creamy faster, so I blend it first. And then thirdly, uh, with this thermomix, you can make a lot of uh, dessert. So, I mean, you can bake a lot of dessert. Allow, tadi, I tak bagi tahu you, um, my bake, my IG is dessert tinggal satu. So, I think most of our advisors also are experts in, in baking too. So, you can see, uh, if you have to cook it, uh, I've tried carbs, uh, the lab, and then I've also tried um, uh, 
mungkin uh, ini uh, jadi and then I've done some of this uh, milk pudding and, and some of the desserts that can actually steam or or always steam it and it's very easy and fast. Okay, the jelly does ya. Okay, nanti we get back to this ya. Okay, so this is how it looks like after you mix it. So it's very white and fluffy. So macam uh, if you want to have your cake to be very nice and soft, make sure that the butter and the sugar is already uh, beaten up and um, I mean whisk to, to this texture, soft texture and dah tak ada lagi grain, uh, sugar grain. Okay, so if you see here, they're very smooth. Tak ada ni. Tak ada rasa. Ayah mungkin cari mixer, mixer yang mahal-mahal lah. Uh, tak, ada. tak payahlah tapi kalau you nak cantik boleh lah beli <laughs> <laughs> Tapi tak, tak muat lagi right, right semua now. mix lagi cantik Yes, yeah, semua mix lagi cantik daripada that, the, that kitchen aid oh, Jangan marah ya Okay, next is that okay, I close it I want to emulsify the eggs Okay, so now at speed I do at speed 2 Okay, and for 2 minutes the eggs ni, make sure that you already mix it so that everything is already uh, well mixed and then at a slow stream, you just pour it in slowly so that they are, uh, the, the batter, the, the eggs and the, the, eggs and the, uh, the butter just now doesn't separate. So if it's separate, don't worry, the cake put up jadi but it's just Emulsifying the, the batter is much more better. Uh, it will give a better texture to the cake. Right? So, more. Okay. Okay. No need to be too slow. Alamak, that's two minutes. Cepatnya. Okay, get up. I add to another one more minute. Okay. So, and then uh, I leave it for another two minutes just for more. And after that, I will add a teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon of uh, pickle, a double cream. This is just uh, optional. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. But if you have it, you can add it. And let it mix for a while. So once in a while, you can just uh, look at it and then uh, tengok kalau just in case if it's uh, stuck somewhere, just stop it and then uh, kaut dia balik lah, just mix it a bit. Okay, so uh, coming back to, yeah, I have one minute for this, coming back to, to the thermomics itself. Um, I'm, I'll be moving into a new house next month. So basically, I will be doing some uh, I'll say removing some of the items from my current kitchen and bring to the new kitchen. So after, when I do some spring cleaning, I saw there's a lot of equipment uh, machines that I won't be using at all because the Momix already have it and it will be um, uh, will be able to replace the whole thing. So like what like, uh, I think just now Puma mentioned, with the Momix you can have, have, I mean, it's the only thing that you, you, you need. So I can save my money from renovating the kitchen, having a lot of space to, uh, to fit my equipment and just have my, my uh, thermomix on the kitchen counter and I just use this besides having the uh, gas stove. So uh, as just now I explained, this thermomix actually has a lot of functions. You can do sous vide, you can, do, uh, you can blend and then your hand, uh, hand mixer that you can use lagi. And then there's no need of food processor, the blender. And uh, I, I've tried a grinding coffee here. So uh, it kind of like um, the texture is quite nice. Either you want a very uh, upper, rough ground coffee to fine grind coffee, it is really good. And then um, as well as the stand up mixer just now, I don't know how to put all this bowl. So I don't know how to I have two sets of this. And then I've made soya using this. So it's very easy and very healthy and I, I would say it tastes much better than the store-bought uh, store one. And 
like uh, some of our colleagues earlier had whipped some uh, using this whipped cream. So uh, they just now, uh, Swissan explained that it won't melt out anything. Instead, kalau you not whip ice cream, I mean, uh, I think kumu, uh, the, the ice cream won't melt. And then kalau you not whip up uh, whipped cream, basically there's no heat buildup. So the whipped cream can be whipped very nicely. But provided that, please just chill your bowl so that the whipped cream can be, uh, I mean, it can form a whipping cream texture. And then uh, as well as the other functions, like rice cooker, doji eye rice, easy, you can use. And then slow cooker, I've made my stool in here, so it's very easy and I just leave it overnight and the next day I have my lunch, uh, uh, the stool for lunch. And uh, you can boil water, make bread, and then like just now the kitchen scale, a steam, which is right now I'm not using any steam. A cooker, which is I failed in doing eggs before this, so this is my saviour. As well as my favorite, current favorite thing is that yogurt maker. So I've been making yogurt every three days now. So I'm kind of safe and I don't need to buy the yogurt culture anymore to make my yogurt. Okay, so now this is the texture of the emulsified batter. Cantik kan? So you tak nampak ada apa-apa eggs coming out from the uh, from the uh, from the batter. So it means that it's well, well done. Okay, next is that I want to show you the scales. So from here, just now, uh, now I'm showing you that I don't need to actually uh, measure it separately. So I'll just measure around 250, uh, 250 gram of flour. So you, uh, it's already zero. So I'll add flour. This is uh, self-raising flour. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. So some raising flour, there are the baking powder, there are the baking soda. So you don't need to, okay. So now it's 251, but basket, apa? Won't affect that much, okay? So, okay. And then I have my, uh, what is this? The lemon juice. So this lemon juice, okay, just now I would, uh, I will have, a, have it turbo. Only for two seconds twice. Uh, the first second, I turbo dulu. Okay. And then I'll add my juice in there. And then I turbo again. Okay. So now, because I have another two things, which is the, uh, what is this? Poppy seed as well as, as well as the lemon grind. Chia seed to poppy seed. Poppy seed. Oh. Poppy seed. You don't chia seed. Chia seed nanti dia, dia bake nanti dia jadi jelly. Okay. Scrape it up. Add scrape it down sikit. Okay. And masuk dia. And I add my zest. So, okay, dia tak terbang pula ya lepas I terbo. I ingat it would fly. Okay, for 30 seconds, I'll just mix it at speed 2. I'll just reduce it sekejap lah. 15 seconds. Because just now kita dah terbo dua, uh, terbo dua kali. So we want to reduce the mixing uh, mixing period for the batter. Okay. And after this, we are almost done. This is our cake batter. So here, kalau you nak scrape, you boleh scrape. Otherwise, uh, tak payah pula pula. This is how it looks like. Okay. It looks like a very good texture better. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a trick. Hello, you are the mold, and then this mold, uh, you don't want to line it. Just put the baking uh, parchment paper and have a clip on the sides. So once it's baked, you just slice, I mean you just crack it out on the sides and then pull the whole thing out. So it's it will be very easy. Okay. So, it is 
this one, I will scrape it off after this to do it tak tepi. Okay, for now, I will put in this one. Alright. So, uh, you go ahead and bake this. We pass over to Aish. Yes, thank Aish, you. Aish, ready? Alright, thank you. You ready? Hi, yes, everyone. Sorry, it's just too windy over here. <laughs> okay, you can start. Right. Okay, hi. Good, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Moira, for sharing uh, your wonderful cake, batter, and also sweet. Uh, okay, so today I'll be making a chocolate mousse. But before that, maybe I'll just say a few things about myself. Um, so I started using Thermomix for five plus months now. Um, my husband and I, we just moved to Miri and um, both of us are working. So I'm working from home, but still quite a busy schedule. So we decided to get a Thermomix um, after, you know, seeing the magic of it with our advisor. Um, and yeah, it's been a great journey. Very, very interesting. A lot of impressive points. But if you were to ask me, what um, I found, you know, quite impressive is that Thermomix is perfect temperature control. Okay, um, so let me see if you can see this. Yep, over here. All right, so with Thermomix, it's all you need because it can go to different temperatures, even super high ones. So high temperature up to 170 degrees, yeah, for caramelizing, for, uh, for frying, super crispy ikan bilis. In fact, it is um, even super golden. And you know how um, tricky it is to achieve that when you are frying it over stove. Yeah, you can achieve that, but you have to make sure you're constantly stirring. You, uh, and of course, you will end up with like a very messy stove top. But with Thermomix, it's not the case. Uh, in fact, I've been telling everyone that, you know, once I even mopped the whole house and then I started frying ikan bilis in my Thermomix, of course, and not, you know, not a splatter, nothing. So I'm that confident about <laughs> frying ikan bilis in Thermomix. So yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, then, you know, things like melting chocolate, we all know that, um, you know, double boiling is the best way to go around it because, you know, you can burn the chocolate if it's a little bit of a too uh, high temperature. So with Thermomix, no, because um, most of the cookie dough recipes, it already has got the step in built. So meaning, you know, you don't have to worry about what temperature it is. It will automatically set for you 50 degrees while I melt chocolate and no burning whatsoever, perfectly melted chocolate. Um, and then, you know, you can make your own kaya spread and even that, the, the temperature is controlled so super well. Sauteing for Indians, you know, we do a lot of um, um, tempering of the spices um, and, you know, it, it really um, works well as well with the 120 degree sauteing. Uh, browning of meats, yep. And Varoma, Varoma is the steaming setting. I think a few of my uh, team members were speaking about it. It's perfect because, you know, when you want to um, say steam meat or uh, vegetables, the nutrients are wonderfully, um, how, how do I say? It, it will um, maintain the nutrients in your veg uh, in your food. Okay, and then also there's the perfect yeast activation. So say it's been, so for example, here in uh, Miri, it's been raining for the past few days. And if you um, know how we Indians, we make our um, dosa better, it actually requires uh, overnight fermentation. And sometimes on a rainy day, you won't get the perfection that you want to. Uh, so you'll have to wait like an extra few hours to get the batter fermented. So if that's the case and you really need um, your batter fermented, you can actually put it in thermomix. So with some water, and then you put the thermomix, um, the Varoma tray. You can actually put your um, dosa batter in it, in a bowl, of course. And you can just set it at a temperature where it will allow the batter to ferment as well. Yeah. Same thing with, you know, maybe your donut that um, dough or anything that you want perfectly fermented. All right. What else? Yeah. Sorry, wrong. <laughs> Uh, 
And then you can, of course, achieve, um, you know, things like making your own lollipops. Like, how cool is that, right? You can make your own lollipops and you don't have to worry about getting it wrong because with the cookie dough, um, res uh, cookie dough recipes, it's precise cooking that you would be guaranteed a perfect lollipop. <laughs> Okay, um, and then things like, say, for example, if you want to make a bechamel sauce, yeah, so that one, if you are a seasoned cook, or if you are, uh, you know, you're familiar with making it, you know that the steps are, you have to follow a precise set of steps to actually achieve a perfect bechamel sauce, yeah, but then, um, so if, but if, say, you are a new cook, or, you know, you're trying this for the first time, and you Google it out, that is like, you know, most other websites will list down 10 steps or 10 tips for you to achieve the perfect bechamel sauce. And, you know, sometimes it can get overwhelming to read all of it. And then, you know, at the same time, try making it. But then on cookie dough, um, so there are a few recipes that will come up if you type in uh, bechamel sauce, but there are also the ones that is just one step. <laughs> In one step, you put all your ingredient in and you can achieve a perfect bechamel sauce. So how cool is that? All right. Or, you know, maybe this one with three steps, also bechamel sauce. But then, you know, you can, if you want to feel like, oh, I want to, you know, have a certain sense of control over it because you know that you always start with um, melting the butter, right? You don't want to put everything in and one step done. So you want to have a certain sense of control. Okay, fine. Um, you can follow this recipe where it starts with, uh, melting the butter, so three minutes, 100 degrees, speed one. So perfectly melted butter, you don't have to be anywhere around the vicinity, you can just leave it and then come back to melted butter, add your flour and then you know get that to mix and cook um, and then yeah, so on. So yeah, you'll get perfect back more sauce. Now even so, you know, first time making it, not too sure. So what you can do is that um, we've got like a really nice support group on WhatsApp. Um, also the Telegram group where we have all the recipes nicely laid out, organized beautifully. But in the WhatsApp group, what you can do is that you can tell everyone, you know, like, oh, I'm going to try to make this uh, bechamel sauce. Has anyone tried it? Uh, any tips? I'm a bit, you know, flustered at making it the first time. Would it turn out? So you can ask those kind of questions. And um, personally, I've not made bechamel sauce, all right? But I've seen a lot of people make it. Then when they actually ask these questions in the support group, um, you know, people come up with lots of tips and then, in that tip, one of the tip that I um, found that I found really interesting is that the bechamel sauce is actually pretty similar, if not the same, as the classified sauce that you get on a Domino's pizza, the one that we all love. Okay, so you can actually use um, the classified, the bechamel sauce on cookie dough to make your classified sauce um, perfect. Okay, um, and then of course, um, what else? Oh yeah, with the high temperature setting as well, like you can make, you know, crispy ikan bilis. With the same recipe on cookie dough, you can even try out things like, um, you know, frying tempeh. So I am vegetarian on some of the days of the week. So I prefer having like a vegetarian option and I fry my tempeh using the same recipe and it turns out equally as crispy and good. Okay, so very, very nice. Um, and then also caramelized popcorns, anyone? <laughs> so with, um, you know, with that, there are lots of um, re recipes on cookie dough that follows, um, that allows you to caramelize your, you know, your sugar. And I made popcorns for me and my husband because we like watching movies. And sometimes when we don't go to the theaters, you know, when you watch movies at home and Netflix and chill, we like to have a little snack as well. So why not make your own uh, popcorns at home, right? Because movies and popcorns go really well together. Okay, um, what else? Yeah, and then of course, um, one of the most amazing things, you can ask any Thermomix advisor, um, one of the most amazing things uh, is stir frying your vegetables or your broccoli in specific because when you stir fry it, 
in Thermomix, okay, for this a set period of time, or just follow the cookie dough recipe that's already there, the outcome is amazing because your broccoli will retain its color. It will be super vibrant, um, you know, like this. And it's just cooked in the most um, perfect way. Yeah, so not overcooked, not undercooked. So really, really nice. So yeah, with one thermal mix, I think um, it's amazing how we can achieve so many things. Yeah, you can even make your own um, bawang goreng. Yeah. All right. So yeah. Okay. Um, going on to our theme for the day, picnic. Um, so thank you so much. I was pretty excited to do this because I do love picnics quite a lot, uh, be it a small group picnic or a large group one, because with small group picnic, you get to spend quality time with everyone, right? Your close-knit family and um, friends. And then with a big knit group, I mean, with a big group in your picnic, you can actually mingle around, have fun, make new friends perhaps, yeah. So it's really nice. Um, and then, yeah, so one of the things I thought that we can make for picnics is this really amazing um, chocolate mousse using one of the most healthiest avocados. Okay, so I love to make this not only for picnics but anytime because it's so sim simple. I'll show you in a minute. It's super simple, it's super fast, and you know, you can indulge on a chocolatey, um, you know, chocolatey treat without really worrying that, oh, I've had too much. Okay, because you also loaded up on goodness <laughs> or good nutrients. Okay, all right, so we'll get started. So sorry, my thermomix turned off in the time I was talking. <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing though. So while you're cooking, um, um, and say, you know, you finish cooking uh, or you have to leave before your food finished cooking. Yeah, you can leave and you've got, you know, rest assured that thermomix will just finish that last step of yours. And then if, you know, if too long, nobody's like um, going on to the next step, it will, so you can leave the house, come back, and your thermomix would have shut down already. So that's super safe and nice. All right. Okay. Let's give it some time for it to connect to the internet. Um, All right. No worries. I will just share about just a moment, okay? Sure. Okay, so as you all can see um, from those who already shared about their thermomix, how is their life with thermomix? Family eating together. Mothers can cook and work at the same time. And uh, you get to cultivate good eating habits with your child. You have auto cooking. So you get to go and do your work. You get to go fetch your kids from school. You get to do your laundry. You get to do everything, but your rendang will be cooking. Like this, your mousse will be done. And you can leave the steamer on like Swiss Sun, make her bar, make her burgers, have healthy cooking as well. And you have a clean kitchen. You look at Swiss Sun's kitchen. You look at uh, Aish kitchen. But it's so filled. It has everything it needs. And also it is investing in and good health, which is totally worthwhile, okay? So you all saw your life before Thermomix and life with Thermomix and you see the joy and spark in each of their faces. It's like you become so much happier when you get to eat with family, but you get to cook the food and, and, and the spread is something you made at home. But you don't have to worry after this, oh, you're the amount of washing. No, Thermomix done it. Or if someone is coming, what to cook, how to make it. You want to just open your cookbook. Don't worry, cookie dough has you, okay? So who needs a Thermomix? Anyone to no one. You can be the world's best chef. Master chef uses Thermomix. Or you can be just like us, a home cook, a housewife, or a business person who wants to use her Thermomix to make sausage bun, cakes for sales. It makes it all easier. So from a chef, busy professionals who eat out every day, people who are health conscious, your kids with eczema, you have diabetic, you have keto-friendly diet, you have all kinds of diet. And if you're a cookie enthusiast, I think all of us love food. So we definitely will be more excited if we can cook. And if your friends keep telling you, I can't cook, I can't cook, come, come. Cookie dough can cook for you. So children will play along, cook along. And those who have medical or special dietary diets, um, as our parents age, as we age, you don't want to stand by the stove in the heat with leg pain and stir away and then wash everything. Thermomix is the way, okay? So you get to see the fun and you get to share the joy. 
why wouldn't you want it the mix? So over to Aisha again. Go over. Thank you, Kumu. All right, so let's get started. The first step is actually to take 100 grams of dark chocolate. Um, so if you notice, let me just go back to recipe details. It's for six portions. I think my teammate would have told you that they are actually, um, you know, how difficult it is, prep time, total time, and also the servings. So this particular recipe is for six portions. Of course, if it's a picnic for um, a big group of people, I would be making six portions or even doubling up. But today, because it's just me and I'm having, or not having, in fact, I'm um, just making for two portions, all right? So if you would notice me putting lesser um, ingredients, that's another versatility when it comes to thermomix. You can actually halve it, you can double it, or you can, you know, do just one quarter of the recipe, no problem. Um, as you use your thermomix more and more, you will actually know how it works. So you can use the timing for blending and, and, and so on, all right? Okay. So for instance, okay. so for instance, it was actually ten seconds for blending the um for chopping up that um chocolate. I I reduced it to just six seconds because there's very little left. Yep. And then you guys can see it's nice as well. Okay. All right. So next comes the avocados. Just put that in. Um, of course, to make to do this cooking show, I've already pre-put everything into bowl. But that's not the case on a normal uh, working day cooking. Uh, I will just, you know, like directly from the jars and from the packets itself, I'll just pour it in, which makes it much more easier, isn't it? Like you don't have to. Um, you know, use another appliance to actually weigh your ingredients or have to wash so many bowls, <laughs> right? Okay, so coconut cream, those in. Um, so I used the I am brand coconut cream, but then I've also tried it with the normal coconut coconut milk. It works just as fine. Okay. All right, maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, just honey will do. And if you notice, um, as I'm going along, it, you can make this a vegan recipe as well. So just remove the honey out of it, I guess. All right. So a lot of amazing recipes out there. Uh, if you don't want the honey, of course, you can remove it. So less sugar for you. Um, and then finally, cocoa powder. All right. It's just to mix everything. I should that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. And then next step is for you to scrape down everything. Let me just show you how uh, this ten second turned out. So it will be like that. Can you hear me, Kumu? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you and see you. Okay. Because I just said uh, my internet connection. Yeah, earlier was lagging a little. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So just scrape it down and then let it um, blend everything again. So it actually uh, increases in volume as well. It makes everything. So it's nice for 20 seconds. So it's asking us to scrape it down once more. Um, it just depends on you, actually. If you're happy with the texture as is, then go ahead. Otherwise, you can scrape it down. So again, uh, cookie dough has got steps, but as you keep using your Thermomix, you will actually know, uh, you know whether you want to actually go with this um, step or you want to modify it. And in fact, if you want to do that and make it more um, easily accessible to say your spouse, your children, I mean, 
teenage children yet who wants to um, recreate this, but you've, you know, you are the one who knows the settings and what you've modified, right? You can actually um, export this particular recipe um, into your created recipe and then start modifying bits of it. And then it will be a created recipe, which is your own, which your, you know, child or your husband can actually just start recreating, I guess. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Last step. And we're done. So let's have a look how it turns out. Just like that. Uh, let me just put it into this cup and then you'll see how silky and smooth the texture is. Um, before when I used to do this, uh, Cookie Dough actually suggests that you serve it with fresh raspberries and whipped cream because I don't really get uh, raspberries here all the time. Uh, or, you know, whipped cream, yes, I make my own as well using my magical Thermomix. <laughs> all right. Uh, but I like, you know, having this with ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's additional um, uh, sin, but it's amazing. I tried it once with my homemade uh, pistachio ice cream. It is very, 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 very nice. Um, and then with the jar, sorry, the mixing bowl, if you don't want to, you know, like waste all that goodness, just pour some milk into it. And then just blitz it for 10 seconds, probably, and you get good chocolate, you know, flavored uh, milk. So it's really nice. Hope okay. you enjoyed that, everyone. Enjoy okay, that. so we already had some main meal burgers, we had cakes, we have mousse now, and let's go to our drink. So let's pass on over to uh, Ayn. Ayn, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, okay, I'm Ain. I'm one of the advisors. So today I'm going to make coconut shake. Okay, uh, actually I live, uh, I'm tinggal dekat je dengan pantai. Okay, rumah I memang sangat-sangat dekat. So I memang selalu pergi piknik. So since ada temu mix macam-macam I buat. And one of it is coconut shake. Okay, memang tak beli dah. Sebab simple sangat nak buat. Okay, just uh, kita move on je lah eh. Um, I think dah banyak dah uh, my colleagues explain about the function semua kan. So sekarang kita nak tengok betul-betul powerful ke tak. Dia punya apa ni. Uh, uh, temu mix ni kan. So I akan blend ice dengan uh, gula melaka. So kita tengok eh. I akan hancurkan gula melaka tadi. Menggunakan mod turbo. So turbo ni memang sangat-sangat powerful. Okay, dia boleh, uh, apa ni, dalam masa dua saat boleh hancurkan uh, gula melaka, gula batu. Okay. So I akan repeat uh, lagi sekali. Nice. Okay. Simple sangat buat coconut shake ni. Dia cuma gunakan ais, air kelapa, uh, ice cream dan juga gula melaka. See, air punya gula melaka dah, uh, dah tak ada rupa dah. Dah uh, hancur. Memang cantik lah. Very nice. So next, masukkan je terus. Um, ice cream. Alright, ice cream ni semua yang nak imbang. Resipi ni kita akan share uh, dalam, yes, kita akan share lepas uh, daripada demo ni kita share dalam group lah. So ni ais. Okay, I blend. Masuk je terus. And then, I akan masukkan uh, air kelapa dengan uh, isinya sekali. Masukkan terus. Okay, kalau tak yang kelapa pandan yang wangi tu lagi best lah. Alright. So, sebelum ni selalu orang berasa panjang kan nak beli coconut shake. Uh, Kata yang kat Melaka tu kan. I'm tak payah kita buat sendiri je kat rumah. Okay, I akan set masa 15 saat. Okay. Simple tau. Macam kita nak keluar sebelum pergi uh, piknik pun sempat siap. Okay. Lepas tu kita akan gunakan speed 9. So kita akan increasekan sikit-sikit speed dia. Alright. See? Kejap je kan. 
dapat lupa dia shake sejak umur. Nak tengok tak hasil dia? 15 saat. Kalau blender memang berasap lah. Okay, tengok ais ada yang bubur bukannya semua ketuk-ketuk kecil, semua besar. Ketuk besar make semua. me want to make my own coconut shake now. <laughs> okay, I akan blender sikit lagi lah dalam 10 seconds tu kan. Okay, sebab nak make sure gula melaka yang kat bawah tu just mix betul-betul. So, I just uh, add another 10 seconds. Okay, speed 6. Okay. <laughs> Tara. Ya, yeah, nak nak suka gila. So, one of the uh, good thing dari Thermomix ni, kita banyak explore recipes and then kita boleh kawal tau dia punya uh, bahan kan macam ni ha. Ni kita tahu apa yang kita masukkan. Contoh macam gula tu kita boleh kurangkan untuk anak-anak. So, I akan ah uh, lemak. Ni, I akan biasa akan guna um, Bekas macam tau, I beli dekat Mr. B.I. Wine kan So nanti bubur dalam ni Kita tutupkan dia Tutupkan dia, bawa straw, bawa minum dekat tepi pantai kan Haa, seronok So tak adalah membazir duit beli all these uh, sweet sweet drinks dekat tepi jalan tu And then air pun kita tahu sos daripada mana dia guna And then gula pun kita tahu berapa potong, berapa paket gula dia bubur kan So bila kita buat sendiri ni, sedap memang confirm sedap And then anak-anak pun kita tahu uh, apa uh, bahan yang dimakan tu kan. So, jangan lupa dapatkan termomik cepat-cepat sebelah harga naik. Sebab memang best. Memang best. Okay. Alright. So, thank you I as, as all of them prepare their dishes. Okay. So, we will uh, just check if anyone has any last questions. Just a moment. Okay. Dekat dengan pantai, ya. Yeah. So, as you all know, picnics are amazing times to re uh, reconnect, have a um, chill time. If anyone now tak ada MCO, you should know more, better that it's time to explore the outdoors. So, go to the beach, go to the playground, go to the mountains. Just bring a tikka and in the morning, maybe you can make some burgers or make some cake. You can make mi goreng mama with thermomix and pack it all. Or you can make sandwich like I did. If any of you want to follow me on Instagram, it's coolmoon9. So I went picnics the last few times. I made um, coronation chicken sandwich. All you have to do is you have to um, steam your chicken on the top. You have to um, make um, thermomix shred for you. It, mean, it becomes pulled chicken. You add egg or you add mayo. And you have a good feeling. You want to make the bread also, Thermomix can help you. So, um, why not get Thermomix? So, I want, I want, I want Thermomix, okay? Everyone wants Thermomix. Choose Thermomix with the current price. You will love it. You will enjoy your time with your family. Going home becomes fun. You'll be excited to go home. At work, you will not be going through Shopee. What to buy, what to shop. You will be going through the recipes to cook for your family. You will make collections. You will be a happier person. I can vouch for that. Okay. So let's see the dishes from everyone. Sweet son, you have your dish? Yeah, I have it. <laughs> All right. Wow. So wow. I just want to show you the burger patty <clears throat> just by steaming it, right? It, it still maintains its. Um, Moistness. So what I did was I added the um, barbecue, honey barbecue sauce. I just put it on top like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even if you don't want to make it into a burger, you can make this into a meatball. Yeah, so I um, toasted my buns. Ah, so pretty. Here, and then I um, put some vegetable, lah, you know, because vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> just add some extra sauce. Uh, just close it and then just uh, ah. use a stick or something and then it's ready to go so um, not just picnic you can do this for your kids uh, lunch box uh, even for your own lunch box uh, you don't have to spend like how much is a burger outside nowadays i don't know <laughs> 20 30 yeah uh, but you you get to you get to um uh, tell yourself which meat you want what yeah. flavoring you want what so you can control like the amount of cheese and amount of herbs fresh herbs or chicken or meat that you can put inside so all this you know that you're making it um healthy and even if you want to make your own bread you can go ahead so i'm gonna just for a burger party so yeah for a, uh, for <laughs> yeah. a birthday spread 
Yeah, so All right. um, I'll have this for my lunch later. So <laughs> I'll go into the next okay. one. So <laughs> uh, Moira, your kick is going on. <laughs> Okay, so we will share the picture later on then. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next is Aish. There you go. Um, I had some frozen raspberry, so that's what I put in this time. Okay, so simple, simple delight, but not so simple because it's healthy, right? <laughs> okay. Um, I. Ah, my Hello. God, happy you. Ah, I dapat uh, lima cawan So kalau cawan ni dapat enam So imagine satu cawan uh, air yang guna air kelapa tadi Satu cawan je yang beli Tapi yang dapat enam lagi um, wow. okay, Seberapa banyak yang dah jimat okay? <laughs> So nak nak pergi nak pergi piknik tu Letak dalam tembos yang coconut shake Bawa ice cream oh. dalam chiller box Oh, oh, oh Ice cream pun oh, boleh buat sendiri oh, okay? oh, Enjoy ah, by the piknik Ice cream boleh buat sendiri okay? oh, yeah, Betul-betul <laughs> I mean, tomorrow we'll see that. All right, that's all from all of us. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for joining in. Join us the next time for our next Zoom demo. And let's hope you have fun too. Okay, so let's take a picture. Okay, everyone here. So, wait, just. Moira, mana Moira? Kejap. Moira, tunjuk muka je tak apa. Ain belakang okay. sikit muka tak nampak penuh. Okay. Ah, okay. All right, one, two, one, two, one. <laughs> okay, I got it. I'm taking my phone. One, two, three. Thank you. All right, guys. Go out for your picnic. Bye bye. Thanks, ladies. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. bye.